praising God and winning the approval of all the people. Day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul rests in hope. My soul rests in hope. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. My, my soul, soul rests in, in hope. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child. Like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. My, my soul, soul rests in hope. My soul rests in hope, O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. My soul rests in hope. Alleluia. Consider the ravens. They do not sow, they do not reap, they have neither cellar nor barn, yet God feeds them. How much more important you are than the birds. Which of you, by worrying, can add a moment to his lifespan? If the smallest things are beyond your power, why be anxious about the rest? Or take the lilies. They do not spin. They do not weave. But I tell you, Solomon in all his splendor was not arrayed like any one of them. If God clothes in such splendor the grass of the field, which grows today, and is thrown on the fire tomorrow, how much more will he provide for you, O weak in faith? It is not for you to be in search of what you are to eat or drink. Stop worrying. The unbelievers of this world are always running after these things. Your Father knows that you need such things. Seek out instead his kingship over you, and the rest will follow in turn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Felix was born to a peasant family in Cantalice. When he was twelve, he was hired out as a shepherd and plowman. 
He found such work conducive to meditation. A turning point in his life came when the team of oxen he was driving suddenly bolted, knocking him down and pulling the sharp plow across his body. When he found himself completely unharmed, he determined at once to present himself for admission as a lay brother at the local Capuchin monastery of Chita Bukhale. Very quickly, Felix acquired a reputation for holiness. Even members of his community referred to him as the saint. After making his final rounds, he was sent to Rome, where he lived for 40 years, serving as the community's official beggar for food and arms. People called him Brother Deo Gracias, for his habit of constantly giving thanks to God. Among his friends was Saint Philip Neri, who read aloud to the illiterate brother the proposed rule for his new order and afterward incorporated his comments and amendments. Felix was well known for his austerity. He walked barefoot, lived on little more than bread crusts and table scraps, and was later found to have worn a shirt of iron links. If anyone insulted him, he would reply, I pray God that you may become a saint. He died on the 18th of May, the year 1587, after receiving a vision of Our Lady, and he was canonized in the year 1712. I'd like to end with a quote from St. Felix of Cantalice. All earthly creatures can lift us up to God if we know how to look at them with an eye that is single. The example of St. Felix of Cantalice is set before us today as we take up our daily tasks and occupations. Let us pray with heart, therefore, and firm in trust. We pray for all pastors, especially for bishops everywhere, that they may tend the flock entrusted to them with care, courage, and perseverance. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who work in parishes, pastors, assistants, and co-workers, that they may be agents of the Holy Spirit, who leads the people of God into unity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously for priests and religious who engage in the work of Christ in difficult and trying situations, that their courage may not fail them in their hours of trial. May Christ the Good Pastor be their inspiration and joy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For vocations to the priesthood, May the Lord call into his harvest young men who will speak to the people of our time with insight and conviction. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For harmony among all who work for Christ, may petty factions not enter into their work for the kingdom of his love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
for those who have borne the burdens and toils of the years and who are now retired from active ministry. May God's peace dwell with them always. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, our God, may the life of Saint Felix inspire us to greater endeavour in the service of your people. May our lives be abundant in good works through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we bring to your altar the gifts you gave us. May we follow the example of St. Felix in serving you with pure and joyful hearts. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the Kingdom of Heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Abula, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Felix of Cantalice, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever. us, and lead us not into temptation, 
that deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. As with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. those of you who cannot receive Holy Communion right now, I invite you to join us in praying this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Almighty God, by the power of this sacrament and the example of Saint Felix, help us always to live a hidden life with Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust thou into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits, who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. To all life thou givest, to both great and small, yeah. 